Hello everyone, welcome back to Megan Richie Rich. So, uh, if you've been watching the previous videos, you'll have seen I've been talking about Betfair trading, um, leading into bots, um, and then automating the bots, and then setting up a bot on a VPS, and it's all been very Betfair trading, okay? Now, that wasn't my goal for this channel. The goal for my this channel originally was to look at ideas online that can make you money, okay? That one happened to be very profitable for me and it's worked out great and I'm enjoying it. But I did want to explore other avenues and this one, and it has intrigued me for a while. It took me a few months now to get things up and running, but that was because issues on my end. It normally wouldn't go that quick. But so they give the big reveal. What's the next project? Um, it's called Amazon. Yep, just Amazon. Um, it's called Amazon Arbitrage. Arbitrage? I think that's the right word. So what we're doing with this model, and we'll call it, is you're looking to buy either in-store or online from other websites or other shops, and you're going to sell them on Amazon for a higher price, and you make your profit in between. Okay, now there's a lot more hands-on, hands-on, hands-on? It's a lot more hands-on approach. Um, to making money online compared to like the Betfair where it's all sort of manual trading and you know even with the bot doing it now it's doing everything for you this year you're going to have to go on search for products find them get them shipped to your house you then have to ship them off to Amazon wait for them to sell make your profit take that money and rinse and repeat and slowly build up um, your your profit your balance okay so for people who like to get a bit more hands-on, this is great. You know, also, you've got something to show for your money. You know, with Betfair trading, and everybody knows it's easy to make a loss. Um, we've all been there, we've done many. Watch a few of my videos where you can see where it goes wrong quickly. But with this, at least you have a product. Worst case scenario, the price drops, you maybe have to take a loss. It's a smaller loss. Um, but you have something there, you can just buy it yourself. Get, get a return, keep it, um, I imagine. So this video is going to be about me, how I'm going to get set up, what I'm going to be using to try and find the products, uh, hopefully find some products, buy them, and I'll document the whole process right off from my first sale. So the first part of this video, I'll just do about me sourcing the products. Um, I'll find a few, I'll get them ordered, get them sent out, and then the second video will continue from, from the next point onwards and how we print off the labels, ship them off to Amazon, and then we'll find out when they sell, okay? And we'll do that a few times. So bear with me and I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. Let's get into this, okay? So as you can see here, I've got up, um, it's a software called Arbisource. Now, I have been watching a few videos. There's a couple of different um, tools and stuff out there you can use for this. Um, the reason I went with Source is because one of the videos I watched, the guy, he strongly recommended it. Um, and I reached out to him on Facebook and stuff, and he's sort of helping me go through it. Um, this is the first time I've ever bought anything. I haven't used the software at all, except for to have a look around myself, but I haven't used it to purchase. So I wanted to do that live with you guys because, you know, I like to keep it real, I like to show how I'm doing it, um, and if there's any hiccups that I come across, at least you're getting to see it, okay? And you're not left alone when you're trying to do it yourself. So RB Source, um, I'll have links and stuff in the description, um, Callum, the guy who owns it, he's also giving me like codes for people to use so you can get discount as well. Um, I think he is currently in beta mode at the moment, or beta mode, beta mode, or beta mode. Um, <laughs> At the moment, so there's also a 33% discount he's given off. Okay. Um, well, we can look into it. You also get a seven day free trial when you sign up. So if you sign up after seven days and don't like it, it's not for you. Uh, maybe you buy a few products. You can see how it works. Um, once you make your first profits and you want to move ahead with it, you can sign back up. Um, but let's, let's get into it. Okay. So we'll go over to our fault. The reason I like this was because it shows you here a list of stores you can buy from. Now, a few pitfalls from Amazon. When you first open your selling account, you will not be allowed to sell every item. And I will show you why I liked 
this software over some other ones, okay? Um, I will do a video using another software where it's retail based, so you can walk in the shop, scan a barcode with your phone, it'll bring up a similar kind of list of what we're going to see here in a moment, and it'll tell you if this is selling well on Amazon, you know, by reading the graphs and stuff, and is it going to make you profit, and you can buy it in the shop. Now, the benefits of going into your shop is you'll get deals that not everybody has access to, you know, anybody who has access to this website or other websites can see these items so they can all potentially go in, buy the same product, try to sell them on Amazon and therefore the price decreases and you'll not get as much profit and sometimes maybe in a loss. From the videos that I've watched, they will say, if you can hold on to it, it will come back up brown. You can wait and get a better profit. That's going to be up to your judgment, okay? So... But we'll crack on with this app. As I said, I will do another video, use another one. I'll go out around the stores myself personally and see if I can find anything doing it. But for this, this is purely for online. <laughs> so with this, you can search for stores. So um, say if you want home bargains, um, you can click on home bargains here. And you have a range of settings here on the left that you can um, customize to yourself to what you're looking for. What I've been told is, the BSR, okay, what that stands for is best seller rate. You want that to be as low as possible because that means in that category, that's the best seller. You know, that, that listing there is the best selling. That's where you want to be, okay? And then over here, we're going to open up this chart. This confused the life out of me. I've been looking at this for a wee while, how to try to figure all this out. Basically, what we want, see the green line, okay? And um, you'll see that's your BSR. Every time there's a drop, so if you can, I can't really zoom in on this, but every time you see a drop there, move that box out of the way. Stay up there. Don't follow me around. Stop following my mouse. Um, every time you see a drop, that's a sale. That means there's been a sale there. So it climbs back up, drops a sale, 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 sale. I feel like I'm about to break in the song. What's that song? Say hello. Anyway, I'm not singing. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, so you're wanting something like that that is selling constantly, right? So it's currently selling in home bargains for fourteen ninety nine, selling on Amazon for twenty pound plus two ninety nine postage, right? So what we'll do first of all, this is why I like this app. See the check restrictions. So it's going to check everything that's on this page to see if we're restricted to sell it on Amazon. Finished. Okay, so I am not restricted to sell this. So straight away, I could add this to my inventory. I can go on here. So what you would do is you would click on this. There's no other stores. You don't click on that. Click on this one. Home bargains. £15. Yeah, let's blow the three of those. I'm not going to. Um, but just add it on. And there was ones I was looking at before. Uh, Teletubbies. Keyboard. <laughs> Right, so we've got that. Now let's go back, let's check Amazon. What you wanna do is make sure these are actually the same. Now, these match up as best as possible, but always double check. Do your due diligence and uh, check that, okay? So go over here to Amazon, you can see 20 pound, send two pound 99, okay. What we wanna do as well, if you go back here, you can see here where the mouse is, right? Can I highlight that? There's seven total sellers selling this, okay? So you can make free pre profit. I didn't even look at that part. <laughs> so we would not buy this for free pre profit, okay, at all. No, that would just be crazy. Um, but that's just an example. We'll delete those pages there, okay? So if we scroll on down here, and stay away from the free P profits. Ideally, what I've gathered, a lot of people say you want a return of investment, which is the ROI of 30%. Some people prefer. So um, there's black magic chocolates. I don't know if I'd want to sell chocolates personally. I just think there could be things could maybe go wrong with that and get squished or melted. So I, I personally won't do that anyway. But as you can see, I'm restricted in those items. I would have to apply to sell. Um, let me see if we can do that. Um, do, do, no, we don't want to do that. So what you do is you click on apply to sale. You go to 
I'm on United Kingdom in this account. Okay, so I'm going to go back there because I had logged in. So uh, what we what we would do, say if we did want to sell um, the likes of, we'll just say the Home Bargains one here for Fireman Sam. If I click I'm Restricted, Apply to Sell, um, we will go over here, over to United Kingdom, select that one, Request Approval. Yay! So I didn't actually have to do anything there for that one. You will find this, and I'll go through and do a few other ones where it's called your gated. It's where you're not allowed to sell a certain uh, product. Um, and ways around that is if you go to a wholesaler and you buy 10 of those same item. Now, you might even find yourself getting a loss, but if it's a an item you say, for example, Lego, and you're gated in Lego and you really want to sell Lego because there's great Lego products out there. You would go to a wholesaler, you would buy 10 of them, um, they would give you an invoice, and what would happen is then you put that invoice into Amazon, they get you approved, and then you're able to just sell that product from now on. So I can now technically sell this. So £2.94, 15% ROI, it's selling loads. If we go in here and look at the chart, it's a great seller, um, constantly moving in the last 80 days. Let's have a look constantly selling there last 30 days yep there's plenty of sales how many people is actually um you've got nine sellers in there to compete with as well so again it's about things where you where you're happy to take your risk you know there's 15 percent roi is that enough profit for you um for the the price but we'll scroll on down see what else we can find here again this is just home bargains we're looking in um I'm not restricted to sell that. Um, I think I had looked at this the other day, but there was very little profit. There's that Teletubbies keyboard I was looking at. 2.50, ROI of 31%. That's the kind of numbers we're looking. Seems to be selling okay -ish over here, if I'm right. Again, this is all still new to me, so a lot of this is going to be learning. But in the last 30 days, that seems to be... You know, a lot of up and downs there, that's what you want, I think. We'll find out. If anybody knows better, correct me uh, down below. So that's not restricted. We could go on there. We could order that for £2.50. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to add this. So what you can do as well here, you can add the sourcing list. So that will add it, and I can come back and look at these later on. Um, so if I find stuff I like. Um, here's one here that's great profit. Um, LOL, surprise me, grown jewelry. Let's see if it's in stock. It is. Um, I'm just double check this over here. Make sure it's the right one. Fourteen fifty nine. Micro jewelry set. They are identical, so that's definitely it. So there you go. This is the perfect one, right? Where you can see, we can buy that for £4 and sell for £14.59. Okay, and let's check the sales in this. Sales aren't actually the best, so you could maybe buy one or two of these. You're only looking at one or two sales, but there's a sale there, sale there, sale there. So it is sell. Um, Again, this isn't a quick, not always going to be a quick uh, turnaround. So it's about, for me, my plan is to have maybe one or two different items all there. So they can maybe sell at different times, but constantly over a while, bringing in a steady revenue all the time. She'll have a range of products that's constantly every day, maybe getting a sale or two and you're getting that profit. And then you take that profit and reinvest it back in. That's my plan. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add that to my sourcing list. Because it's not a bad one. Um, let's go on down. There's a scooter. Again, a lot. Depends on your bankroll. I plan to maybe go 100, 200 pounds to start with. You know, I like to start low and show people how you can grow. Um, profit six pound. 16 pound up front. I don't know if I want to. Is it worth doing? 
Look, I'll add it to my sourcing list for now. Right, let's scroll on down. Do you know what? I didn't even check to see if I was restricted there. See, now, the health and beauty stuff, I was maybe leaning more towards as well. Um, I just think you'll get a lot more sales there. Um, so what we're going to do, actually, I'm going to go back to the start and go to our fault. So that was stores, right? And that's an example of what you'll get in your stores. If we go over to our Amazon categories, this is a lot. What this will do, you can pick somewhere you want. So I said beauty, okay? So let's cl click on the beauty. There we go. I'm going to hit check restrictions first of all. And we're finished. So um, let's scroll on down here. Okay, well, here's one here that looks a lot of movement in there. Small profit of £1.29. That's good. So, right. We're restricted on this, so I'm going to click on apply to sale and see if this is one of the products that you would have to send in. Um, request approval. Okay, so there you go. At least one purchase invoice for products from a manufacturer or distributor. So you would need like a, an invoice that meets um, these. See where it said combined purchase of at least 10 units. Um, so there is websites, um, what I plan to do is once I'm down the line, I'm just going to work on places where I'm not restricted in yet, but down the line, you want to get, um, unrestricted in some of these, so the more you can sell, the better. Okay. Okay. So they're, are they the same? 60 grams. Yes, they are. Again, the sales aren't too great on this one. It actually hasn't sold in a while. So you probably you probably wouldn't go near this one. Even though it does look good up here, the sales is not great. Same for that one. Come on, let's find a nice product here that can work with me. This could be, at this time of year, could be not a bad idea. Five sellers there um, after Sun Lotion. Although I'm in Northern Ireland and uh, we never get any sun. So this is from Savers. Um, it's a 100 ml bottle. Check the Amazon. It's a 100. Nope, it's 400 ml. Okay. Are they both 400 ml? Oh, sorry, they are. Eh, silly card. This is where I, I've been wondering if I go here to Savers. The maximum, I only ordered one. Okay, right. Well, clearly Savers does not want me to buy this. Well, screw you then, Savers. I wasn't going to buy it anyway. Mm. <laughs> so, right, let's scroll on down here. Um, there's something nice, 72p profit. You're paying three pound. No... So again, it's just about looking through 35p profit. It's not great. No, what's this one? Of course, I'm restricted. Great sales on that too. Let me see if I can get it unrestricted. It's worth getting in and trying because there's quite a few times as you've seen a moment ago, I just went in, tried, and I got approved straight away. Other times, you'll get hit with this. So you just exit out and go on and look for something else. Okay. One pound profit there. You're spending eight pound. Again, it's going to depend on your bankroll. If you want to get more items, you know, or fewer items but higher profit, it's about a case of looking around. But let's go back to the fault. Fault the fault. And we could go here to what else interests me. Oh, we'll go for good old toys and games. I had looked at this. Um, it was from B and M, and I don't know why B and M's on here because if we go here to B and M, they do not allow you to order online. So I must flag that up the column and say to him um, because if this is only online, 
you know, find your local store. It still doesn't tell me if it's in stock in my local store. Um, let me see. I don't know. Let's go to Liverpool. We'll go to Liverpool anyway. Uh, or just random. Nope, that's not it. We'll just select one on the map here. Uh, we'll go to Nuri. Nowhere near me. Well, we'll go there. So, yeah, B and M. They don't tell you anything. They'll just tell you what their deals are. We can't order online that I can see. So it's kind of pointless having B and M on there, to be honest. Um, game four pound forty six. I'm restricted. Okay, apply to sell. Yes. Yay, there we go. So I've been approved to sell that. Um, I'm going to add that to my sourcing list. So, nope, that's the wrong thing. Let me see if I go to my sourcing list. Open that in any tab. Right, so there it was. I want to click on that. Now, I wonder if I can... Can I buy multiples of this? Um, so if I can order that, so if I order three of them, do you know what, let me see, it's also handy, I have this honey, I don't know if anybody else uses honey, um, it is handy sometimes it finds a wee codes for you, you have the best price, okay, um, secure checkout, do, don't have an account, check out as guest, blah, 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 um, I'm going to pause this, because I want to I want to just see if they charge for delivery, okay? Because if they charge for delivery, that's one one there. You're going to have to factor that into your costs. Um, I like the fact with Argos, at least you can order and pick up in store. So I'm going to put my details in here quickly and have a check to see, okay? Okay, so as expected, there was a delivery charge, okay? £9.99. So if we go back over here... Um, £9.99, check out, so it's, what if I ordered three items? So that's basically £3 each, roughly £3.30 each. So the time you take that off, it's only a £1.16 pound profit, or £1.16 profit. Now, I suppose if I was to go in and order a lot more, that'll bring that down, but I'll have to have more items. So it's just something that to remember when you are looking at this, okay? Um... But what I'll do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to go, so you're not getting bored looking at me, uh, looking at a load of items. I'll pause it here, go through and find a few things that I'm happy enough to buy. Come back with my results, order them, and tell you what I found. And then we'll see how we can all, okay? So just quickly jumping back in to show you that I actually found a workaround for game. If I select to collect it from store, they charge $4.99. Now, consider it's well, five pounds cheaper than a delivery, but every little helps. Um, if it's close enough to you that it would be cheaper than five pounds to go pick it up, then do that. For me, it's literally a two minute drive. So um, I think I'm going to order three of these anyway um, and do that. So just, just pop back on. I was just looking for a few products there. So. I'm going to order these ones and then I'll be back in a second and show you the rest. Again, popping back because I just dawned on me. I was about to go to check out an item there. So cashback, this is another reason why this uh, software is really good. You can earn cashback, okay? The one I know is top cashback is we go over there. Um, game, enter your email address. So you can also get cashback on some of the items you're wanting to buy. You know, as I said, it'll all add up, you know, so if you're getting, what is it, 3.7% back and you keep getting on a lot of items, not every item will have it, 
but it's better to have it and then it'll just add up and you just let it build up your top cash back um, and then use that to buy more products later on down the line or, or whatever so just another wee thing to jump back in to show you um, and I'll continue on with my searches here okay so I just ordered three products of this um, it only allowed me to order max because apparently it's in high demand which doesn't bode well but at the moment it says there's only one seller on Amazon so right ordered now let's list this let's see how that works okay what I plan to do is get like a spreadsheet I'm terrible at spreadsheets so I've asked a friend to do it for me um, so I'll put on any expenses occurred outside of buying products and then I'll have the products underneath and then how much they actually made and then have an overall profit okay because you have to count in the fact that you know if we're paying for RB source um, as well if we're paying for you know de delivery charges or Amazon fees um, labels sorry that's the other big one is labels now one of the other processes we need to look at is once we go on to order what we do is you arrange for Amazon to come pick it up um, and they'll pick up you put it all in a box so I plan to shoot, do a video showing you how to do that exactly but for now I just want to do a listing uh, on how to list it but what they do is they send it UPS out to pick it up from your door and it's really really cheap if compared to if you were to send it over by Royal Mail like you'll get a massive box sent for like three or four pound so just just to count um, we'll have to calculate that in but we'll go here we'll add this to inventory okay sorry I just had to quickly check a few things there so for you it was a split second for me it was quite a while right so I just wanted to make sure I didn't need to put in like an SKU number or anything there okay now you will see up here that it's selling for new for £19.40 but any videos and stuff that I watched and research it says when you're first listing it it's better to set it higher in case somebody buys it before you've even had a chance to get your products and send it over to Amazon so um, you would set it higher once you get your products and you've printed the shipping label send it over then you can lower your price down to match what's up here and your current profit so what you do then when you're doing your listing is you go down you find out where it's from most of them are made in China so I'm just going to select China for that and um, condition type new um, fulfillment and we're going to have Amazon who will fulfill it so we're going to send it off to Amazon they'll handle everything and they'll just get our check in the mail as they say okay uh, manage offers in marketplaces no so like save and finish and there we go so what we then here do here would be this will be for a different video so I'm going to go and order all my products and then what I want to do is ship them all off in one box okay to save on postage because the more you get into one box the, the better it is okay so what we'll do is we'll go back I'll have a look a few more items um, see what I have and show you what I'm going to send over and we'll be back in a second hello <laughs> well um, for me it has been a long day for you it's been seconds as normal but um, I had to nip out it was my son he left primary 7 today and the school did like a guard of honor for the whole class and they had a bagpiper up now I don't know if it's just me but when I was in school I was said uh, put out the door and said good luck in high school we didn't have all these fancy parties and stuff so I had to nip out and go up there for a few hours and come back so I did manage to find one more product before I left and I'm just going to talk about that now I feel like this here has kind of been a bit all over the place because I've been trying to figure it out as I go along as well so hopefully it's made sense to you I, I've learned quite a bit okay so what we're going to do I'm going to look at the two products I've went with so far um, I ordered this from game so weird things humans search for um, I ordered that from game and I chose to collect it from store because it was only five pound for delivery um, and or else it was ten pound for home delivery so depending where you're going to so what I have discovered with this 
Um, and I apologize if I went over this earlier in the video because it was a lot of hours ago for me, is with this product, when you're looking for products, you have to take into consideration the postage. Um, hopefully, if you order enough items, you'll get it for free. So I've actually reached out to the, the owner of this um, and just passed that note on to him. If there's a way, maybe to add a note in or something, um, it'd be great. Just so you can know, by looking in here somewhere, there'll be a bit of information just says, if you order from game, you need a minimum of, um, that's just there you go, probably him replying. <laughs> If there's a way, maybe possibly of adding that in. Because that'd just be a helpful tool for us newbies out there, okay? Obviously, if you're doing this for a while, you already know, right, game, I need to order 10 of these um, items to get free delivery, etc. The second item I got, this is why I love this website, okay, right? RB Source. They have the cashback button, okay, up here. I claim cashback on both of these. So I'll get cashback from items. But what it done was as well is when I, I got the cash back, but when I went over to the website and I ordered more in bulk, okay? So I ordered like 10 of these. I got them cheaper. Um, let me see if I click on it and show you. So these were, um, let me scroll down a bit. Nope, I can't. Oh, my stupid face is in the way. Oh, well. Um, four pound they're selling for. Okay, so I'm gonna click on bits. I'm gonna go over here to bits. Four pound. Bits is very slow. I noticed today when I was using the site. So, add to basket. So four pound, right? And then they were gonna charge for delivery if I ordered. I'm just say ten, um, which is what I did order earlier on. Um, to go. To 40 pound, I got savings of 12 pound there. So it's 28 pound. Check out now. Okay, so just went through that. So check out, got 10 of the items for 28 pound. Do the maths, 2 pound 80. Well, they were selling the four pound according to this. So I got them cheaper again. So if I put 2 pound 80 in there, I then get four pound 35p profit instead of £3.15. So, plus I got cash back, I think it was 5% cash, let me see. Yeah, 4% cash back on that as well. Not much, what's four? £28, what is it? Do the mass, 4% uh, of 28. One pound, no, that's wrong. No, that's right, yeah. Can't even count. 4% of 28 is £1.12 I got back. Nice. Okay. So what I need to figure out, once I get these items, um, they're due to be collected on Friday. What I'll do then, I'll go over here to my Amazon account where they're both loaded in. What I have to do is type how many units I have of them and go through the whole process of getting these set up to um, post over to Amazon and we'll see where we go from there. Right. <laughs> so hopefully... This has not been too long-winded. I might have to go back in and maybe cut some of this out. Um, so if there's a few random jumps, uh, you'll know why. But it's been a process for me. Hopefully in the next video, it'll be a lot more... not as manic and all over the place. And I'll know what I'm doing. And not having to pause it to go search something, um, etc. But I am... I'm really looking forward to this. Um, things like this excite me. It's sad, I know, but you know, I, I want. I like to get stuff in my hand. I like the whole thought of having to ship it over to Amazon. It gives me actually something to do. Whereas with the manual, with the trading and stuff, I'm sitting on the computer all day long. Um, with this year, I'm gonna have to get up and you know print off labels and do stuff and you know pack up the boxes and I, I'll enjoy that so well. So that's just me. But anyway, um, hopefully this works and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.